Hey you guys, it's Sonia, and today I want to talk about side gigs. What's your side gig? Do you have one? Are you an entrepreneur? If so, what, what, what's your business? What do you do? Um, I want to do something just a little different because I'm always talking about hair, sister locks, natural hair, and I thought it was time to just change things up and talk about something a little more interesting, something that... um will help you guys learn more about me and I can learn more about you because I want to hear your feedback as far as what you do. So for me, my side gig is baking cookies. I love to bake cookies and I've been doing this for a really long time. I started selling them well over 10 years ago and then I stopped. Like I never really got really serious about it or serious enough. Baking cookies is a passion of mine. It's something I really, really enjoy doing. It's relaxing. Um, and I'm good at it. I'm going to say it. I'm good at it. <laughs> um, and it, you know, um, fear. Fear kept me from really taking this serious and taking it to the next level in order for it to become like a main gig, to become my actual real business. Um, I'm so sensitive about my work, about what I put out. And um, I've never been a perfectionist until, you know, I started selling my cookies and hearing from people tell me that I need to sell them and that they enjoy them. and. I guess the idea of putting them out to the masses and I don't know if it was fear, maybe even a fear of success, you know, or a fear of rejection. I think there's always an element of that. And um, it took me a long time to get over that. And I didn't get over it, over that until recently. You know, I'm 46 years old and I finally decided, hey, I'm just going to do it. A couple of weeks ago, almost a month ago, I was at the grocery store. I bought the ingredients for some cookies. And then a few weeks later, I put it out on Facebook. I said, hey, I'm about to bake some peanut butter cookies. If you want to place an order, hit me up. And I've been baking ever since, um, consistently every weekend. So here's the background. My best-selling cookie are my peanut butter cookies, and I think the second best-seller would be chocolate chip. And I started out with peanut butter because way back many moons ago, when my husband and I started dating, I asked him what was his favorite cookie, and he said peanut butter. And I was like, okay, got you. I'm going to bake you some. So I just, you know, found a random recipe, and I, I made him some peanut butter cookies, but I didn't like the way they turned out. First of all, they were hard, and I hate hard cookies. They tasted grainy, which means too much sugar. And the third thing that really ticked me off, you could barely taste the peanut butter. I think the recipe called for maybe a half a cup of peanut butter. What is that? So, you know, I kept searching for other recipes for peanut butter cookies, and they all pretty much follow the same format. So I'm like, no. We need to do something about this. I started to tweak the recipe and add my, add my own. I started to add whatever I felt it was missing to make it to where I liked it. A soft cookie. I want to be able to taste the peanut butter. And it just needs to be rich. It needs to be good, you know. So it took me some years to perfect that. And I finally did, and here we are today. So that was my motivation behind um, the peanut butter cookie. And then I just used that same strategy of perfecting um, cookies with other um, recipes or flavors like chocolate chip and oatmeal raisin walnut or oatmeal craisin or chocolate chip pecan. and lemon cookies, um, I mean, you name it. 
there's a really good recipe I found. It's called a um, carrot cake cookie, and it literally tastes just like a carrot cake. It has all the ingredients of a carrot cake, but it's in cookie form. And there's even a really good um, lemon cream frosting with um, like orange zest in it, and it's so so good. It's so soft and moist, and it's just to die for. Um, stuff like that. I get a lot of requests for like um, Snickerdoodle or um, what's the other one? Red Velvet. I don't do that. I don't even like Red Velvet Cake. I'm not a fan. I don't like the dye used in Red Velvet Cake. It doesn't agree with me. It makes me feel sick. And I know there's other like natural things that you can use to make the dye. Like some people use beet juice or something else to have that red effect, but that's not my jam. I don't do those kind of cookies. Um, I try to keep my menu pretty simple because um, it, it's expensive to do the more, you know, far out cookies that require more ingredients. So I try to keep it pretty simple and um, I don't do decorations. I'm not a decorator. I don't like rolling out cookies and cutting them out and using special cookie cutters to make special little shapes. And, you know, for kids, I don't do that. And the holiday, no. I don't decorate. What I give you is just a really, really good homemade cookie that where you taste the butter, you taste flavor. And my cookies are always soft. I hate hard cookies. I don't like crunchy cookies. I've never liked crunchy cookies. So if you like crunchy cookies, that's not me. I don't do them. I do soft cookies, melt in your mouth cookies, where you taste that buttery goodness. That's what I do. So if you want, you know, pretty cookies with pretty decorations, I'm not your girl. That's not me. I don't I don't have the time or the patience for that. And shout out to the people who do because I know there is a market for that. Um, there's a couple of um, pages on Instagram where they just, you know, some people do some amazing work with cookies and decorations. And that's just not my jam. <laughs> I'll just give you some good old homemade goodness. That's it. So, um, that's how I got started. And, um, you know, baking is my passion. I love to do it. I'm good at it. And I want it to be my main gig one day. So, that's what I'm working towards. And um, I do, I am taking orders. I do have a Facebook page. It's called Sonia's Sweet Somethings. Check it out. Like it. You know, hit me up. I do ship. I do not ship internationally yet, but I do ship within the states. And the shipping price will be incorporated into your overall total. Um, what else? What else? What else? Um, yeah. How did I get into baking cookies? As you can see, I'm winging this. Um, my mom was a baker, or at least she used to be before she became diabetic. And, um, She's an excellent cake. I mean, she can bake anything. She's an excellent cake baker, pies, breads, rolls. I mean, you name it. There's nothing my mother cannot bake or make. And it's really, really good. And I've we've told her for years, like, you need to have your own bakery and sell your goods. And she never did it. And I think that's what kind of spurred me into taking my cookies seriously to kind of do what my mom never would do, but she should have done, which is to sell. Sell your cakes. Sell your baked goods. And so I want to do that with my cookies. And that's why it's just specifically cookies because that's what I'm good at. I'm not good at baking cakes. I'm not good at baking pies. Um, but I am good at baking cookies. So it's not to say that I can't bake those things, but... I haven't done it enough or perfected it, you know, enough 
to where I feel like, ooh, let me sell these. But cookies, yes. I've invested a lot of time and energy into perfecting and practicing baking cookies. So that's my jam. So that's why, you know, I'm like, yeah, I want to sell cookies and I want that to be my full-time gig one day, who knows, and, you know, have have a, a business that I could pass on to my kids. So that's the other thing, too. I want to be able to pass this on to my children. Um, what else? What else? What else? So you see something. So, yeah, when I, you know, years ago, I had business cards made. I don't know if I said this already. I had labels made. Someone I used to work with, he was kind enough to help me um, find my, you know, create a logo. And I was popping for a little bit, and then I stopped. I would start, stop, start, stop until, you know, and again, it was fear. So now I'm finally over that fear. I've put myself out there um, and I'm trying to make this happen. So that's my side gig. That's what I do. In addition to cookies, um, I make granola, homemade granola, super yummy. Um, what else? What else? So many things. My mind is racing, but I just want to share that. And I want to hear from you guys if any of you um, have a side gig, if you're an entrepreneur. Hit me up and let me know what that is because I love to hear your story. Um, I come from a family of entrepreneurs. Uh, my dad has several side gigs. He's He does reupholstery work. He's... Um, Oh, gosh. And then there's seamstresses in my family. There's, I mean, you name it, carpenters, um, all kind of entrepreneurs. So it's in me. It's in my blood. It's, you know, so it's time for me to take that leap. And I've done it. And I hope it continues to grow. And if any of you know anybody from the Food Network or any other... <laughs> Some other star who would love to take on someone like me, taste my cookies. Look, you know what? I even shouted out The Rock on Instagram because I know his favorite cookie are, are peanut butter. And I was like, hey, you need to try mine. They'll knock your socks off. So, hey, why not? So, that's that's it. That's my, that's my deal. That's my little spiel about me and what I do in my spare time. I bake cookies. And my peanut butter cookies are the bomb.com. So hit me up, y'all. Let me know about your side gig. Um, if you're an entrepreneur, what it is, I love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Hey, y'all, to my new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. Um, yeah, have a great one. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.